Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, today is like a really kind of a weird day. I have like a bunch of errands that I need to run. So I figured I would pick up the camera and take you guys along with me. I am getting ready to head out the door right now and take Nova to preschool. It's super late. Are you okay? Are you okay? She just had a little spill. You all right? Okay, um, so we are headed out the door right now. I've got to go to the cleaners. I've got to clean my car out. I've got to pick up a Christmas gift for Nova's Wait, preschool teachers. Mom, yes, Mom, yes, baby. Mom, what? We could do the car wash. We could go right do the whip. Yeah, we're gonna go to the car wash. So yeah, let's we just see what the day the brings. Wash. you guys it is so cold right now in Washington State like it is literally like 40 degrees right now but it feels like 30 like I am dying I just left the grocery store and I picked up a birthday gift for my dear friend so Jessica if you just so happen to be watching this happy birthday um, and I picked her up like a really nice card so I've just got to write in the card and get the gift off to my friend because I'm not able to make it to her party celebration tonight at my um, church's women fellowship that they do once a month I'm not able to make it just because again Taylor has been working like crazy and it's just been really hard trying to like get out of the house or do anything specifically for me. I haven't been able to like go to choir or anything because I'm just, you know, doing the mom life thing. Um, but I did want to make sure that she got a birthday gift because she is one of my dear friends and she has done so many nice things for me. So I am going to do that and then we are going to get my car vacuumed out. I'm not gonna wash it because it's so cold here and it's like sprinkling right now, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna rain, but I am going to definitely vacuum it out and clean it out because there's like junk everywhere. Like I have old McDonald's cups and like all kinds of crazy things in here, so I'm going to do that and I am drinking my homemade bulletproof coffee today. I did not buy a coffee even though I stopped by the coffee shop because I did get a gift card for my daughter's preschool teacher for Christmas and it was so hard not to buy a coffee but I did it and I'm just sticking to my diet. This is day two of the keto diet for me and I'm like having like a headache like I'm going through sugar withdrawals definitely. And this is gonna be like a slow process for me just because it is so hard for me to get off of uh, eating carbs and sugar and stuff like that. So it's going to be a little bit of a an adjustment, let's just say. So I'm gonna drink this. This is so good. If you have not checked out my keto what I eat in a day, I'll have that linked in the cards for you guys. I think I probably posted that like just a few days ago for what I eat Wednesday or last week, depending on when this video goes live. And yes, yeah, so we're gonna clean out my car. I'm gonna stop off at the cleaners, drop off a couple of suits for Taylor and our winter coats because they need to be cleaned, something fierce. And then I'm just gonna go home. So, yay. Hey guys, um, I'm back home now and I decided not to stop at the car wash because it was literally like raining so bad outside and so I didn't want to stop but I think that I'm about to go outside and just kind of do like a little DIY uh, vacuum and clean out of my own car which is kind of nice because I don't have to be outside, I can just be in my own garage, you know, win-win and I don't have to spend any quarters on a vacuum, I can just use my Dyson and I use the Dyson V8 Shark and I will have that listed down below for you guys, but honestly, this is like the best vacuum. I got it on Black Friday special last year, and it was literally the best investment. It's great because I can use it. It's really easy and portable on my stairs. It picks things up 
really nice and I can use it in my car and on my couch and pretty much anywhere you could use a vacuum so I really love it and yeah so let's go and clean my car really quickly I put down TJ for a nap about 20 minutes ago and I just ate and cleaned up the kitchen a little bit so I have some time now I think I'm going to clean my car and try and edit a little bit before he wakes up All right guys, so I'm back in from cleaning my car really quick and I found a bunch of money. So I wanted to give you guys a really quick money saving tip, especially because it's about to be the holiday season. We're all spending cash, cash dollar bills. So one thing that me and my husband implemented like two years ago was the $5 saving jar. And we just took a random jar around our house I think this was like an old it was an old protein jar and every time we give ourselves a weekly allowance so every time we get cash like we give ourselves a weekly allowance like a cash amount and every time we get five dollar bills we don't spend them we save them and we put them in this jar as I was saying this jar has been around forever but we have been able to save like a lot of money like a pretty decent amount of five dollar bills and I just keep track of it on like a little sticky sheet, I will write like how much I'm adding in and how much we take out if we ever take any money out. And I mean, this way we're able to make like those last minute cash purchases without feeling guilty of dipping into our budget. So that is a quick money saving tip for you guys going into 2020 and I hope that y'all like that and implement it. And if you do implement it or if you think it's a great idea or if you have any other money saving tips, please drop those in the comments for people that are watching this video because it is Vlogmas and I know that we are all spending lots of cash. Okay guys, so the car is all clean now and I think I'm just going to do a little bit of editing and stuff like that. So I will check in with you guys later on today if anything else exciting happens. I think what I'm going to do is wrap some books for an advent. We're going to do the 12 Nights of Christmas. Three days later. Hey guys. It is like the next day and it's already nighttime if you can't tell from behind me. Um, I just got totally sidetracked and the baby's crying already. And I literally just picked up the camera. Just to let you guys know that I picked up this, hi Annie. I picked up this uh, 12 books for the 12 nights of Christmas from Target and I wanted to show that to you guys really quickly. So let me get that unwrapped so you guys can see. I'll place you. 
right there, I guess. No, that's horrible lighting. Okay, so let's see. So I ordered this on the Target website, and by the time you guys see this, it will already be like too late to do the 12 books of Christmas, but I will have it linked in case that's something that you're interested in or you just kind of want to see. Maybe you can get it for next year. This was only $15. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, and it's just a My Little Storybook collection. So sweet. And so I'm just going to, it looks like it comes in a little holder already, which is really cute actually. So I am just going to open this and then I'm going to wrap them up so each book is wrapped so every night she can just open. I'm sorry that you guys are getting like that weird light. It's like a halo effect behind me but I can't do anything about it because my light bulbs are crap. But um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap these up really quickly. And that's going to be the end of my video, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, I hope that you guys would consider subscribing and sticking around so that you don't miss any more videos from me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy holidays. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas.